Let's go ahead and find this derivative using implicit differentiation. So on this example, we want to note that e squared is really a constant, and constants are going to come along as we take derivatives. So I'm just bringing that to the next line, and really I want to focus on that x squared at the beginning. Um, that x squared, we're going to take the derivative, it's going to get a 2x to the first power, right, using the power rule. Now our variable was x, so you can put a dx dx next to this um, because we're taking the derivative with respect to x. However, we don't really need that because dx over dx is 1. So let's move on to that next term. The next term we have 2 to the y. So y is our variable. We're going to go ahead and get 2 to the y times the natural log of 2 as being its derivative. But remember, our variable is y here, so we're going to get a dy dx hanging out next to it being multiplied. On the right-hand side, we have 5. Its derivative, because it's a constant, is just going to be 0. From here, what we need to do is isolate the dy over dx on one side all by itself. So we're going to go ahead and move this term, the e squared times 2x. Let's move it to the other side. e squared times 2x moves over. This will leave us with 2 to the y times natural log of 2 multiplied by dy over dx on the left-hand side. And we're going to have negative e squared times 2x on the right-hand side. And then all that remains is we need to isolate that dy over dx. Well, it's connected with everything else on the left-hand side with multiplication. So let's go ahead and just divide both sides by 2 to the y times natural log of 2. 2 to the y times natural log of 2 goes over to the right-hand side. On the left-hand side, multiplying and dividing by the same thing makes a 1. So that simplifies down to 1 times dy dx. So that'll be on one side all by itself. An alternate way to write that is y prime uh, with prime notation as opposed to Leibniz notation. So I hope this helps out as you're working on finding derivatives using implicit differentiation. Good luck with them.